Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Lori Hill and I make videos about plastic surgery. This is the only plastic surgery YouTube channel not hosted by a plastic surgeon. My degree and background are in the dental field. The goal of this channel is to show you that beauty is attainable. It's also to lift the veil of secrecy that surrounds plastic surgery and also to diminish the stigma because everybody deserves to feel beautiful. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe. If you've been watching for a while and you're not subscribed, please subscribe because I give members of my YouTube community first dibs on who I'm going to analyze next. So don't miss out. Subscribe. Today's video is going to be a shorter video because I wanted to give you guys a video to sort of tide you over while I'm working on my Mariah Carey video, which is definitely going to be a longer one. Today we're going to talk about the influencer Cindy Kimberly, or as she's known on Instagram, at Wolfie Cindy. When you guys first asked me to analyze Cindy, I was really reluctant because she only became famous about four years ago after Justin Bieber shouted her out on his Instagram. So we don't have a ton of verified before photos of Cindy. So I will be showing some earlier before photos of Cindy, but keep in mind these photos are not verified. They're not from Cindy herself. They're ones that I found online as well as ones that people sent to me. So when I show those photos, I'm going to remind you that these photos are not verified. I actually noticed Cindy a few years ago. I loved how she looked amazing with very little makeup on. I also loved the shape of her eyes and also her oval shaped face. Since finding her on Instagram, Cindy's become a huge influencer with over 6 million followers just on Instagram alone. Cindy is half Indonesian and half Spanish. Cindy's mother is her biggest influence. She's very close to her. Her and Cindy only had each other when she was growing up and they moved around a lot because her mother was constantly looking for work. Cindy says that wherever her mother is, is home. Did you guys know that Cindy Kimberly is actually a really talented artist? This is something that a lot of people don't know about her. This is Cindy's look when she first came into the public's consciousness. Although she's a super pretty girl, she's nothing like the glamorous woman she's become today. The first procedure that I believe Cindy Kimberly had done was a rhinoplasty to her nose. But I think that she did this rhinoplasty prior to becoming famous. So we don't have any really good verified photos. The ones I'm showing here are, again, the ones that are unverified. The reason that I made the rhinoplasty determination is not because of the before photos, but because I can easily spot the signs of a rhinoplasty on Cindy's nose today. The extreme thinness of her dorsum and the indentations in her alar cartilages where the doctors shaved it down. These are all things that are common with any nose job. Another reason I strongly suspect a rhinoplasty is because Cindy's nose continues to get thinner throughout the years. Unlike noses that have never had nose jobs, nose job noses start looking thinner as the years go by, almost like the skin is shrink-wrapped. That's why it's important to go to a rhinoplasty doctor who is conservative and doesn't remove too much tissue because they know that the nose will look thinner on its own as it ages anyway. The next procedure that I believe Cindy had was filler to her upper and lower lip. I also really notice her philtrum area. It's full and it's filled out and this is the philtrum of a young person. Now the next procedure that Cindy may have had done was buccal fat removal. If we look at her before face and contrast it with her after face or her latest photo, we see less of a heaviness in this area right next to her chin on both sides. Now this could have been from weight loss, but if it was from weight loss, then we'd expect to see it throughout her whole body, but it looks like her weight has remained pretty stable. Now it could also be from just growing up, but keep in mind that that would happen very gradually and this change actually happened within a period of about one and a half to two years. 
Now, because of the buccal fat removal, we see a more defined jawline and we see less heaviness on her jawline. The next procedure I believe that Cindy had done was a brow lift. I think she accomplished this brow lift with Botox. Let's look at her before photo and contrast her brows with the after photo. In the after photo, you can clearly see that both the heads and the tails of her eyebrows are raised up. Now this gave Cindy a much more glamorous look than before. We also see more of her eyelids, which she really plays up by leaving them bare with almost no makeup on them. It gives her a sultry and sexy look. Her eyebrow shape has also changed. They're more pointed than before, as before her eyebrows were mostly straight with the tails raised up at the ends. But don't mistake this new eyebrow shape for her not doing anything further to her brows. The next procedure that Cindy had done is cheek filler. This one made all the difference in my opinion. She went from being a pretty girl to a more modelesque girl. Now Cindy does model, but she's not a runway model. So much of Cindy's jobs come from the way her face looks. Her face is definitely her money maker and it needs to be perfect. Unfortunately, Cindy wasn't blessed with high cheekbones, but this is quickly remedied with adding filler to that area. The last procedure I believe Cindy had done was either a chin implant or chin filler. But for my purposes here, I'm going to go ahead and say a chin implant. A lot of times, people will get some filler prior to getting an implant. I don't think that Cindy continuously fills her chin because over time, getting that much chin filler would cost more than just getting a chin implant that will look the same. In my opinion, this chin implant really helps to add height to the lower part of Cindy's face, where the line I made under her lower lip is. Now, as I was editing, I couldn't help but notice that her lower jaw also looks much more full. And I think that Cindy has also been filling her lower jaw with dermal fillers to add more height to her lower face and also to balance out her wider cheeks. The reason I don't think it's a jaw implant and I just think it's filler is because jaw implants are a much bigger commitment with a much longer healing time. So we would have seen Cindy out and about very, very swollen to the point of where it would look like she had wisdom teeth removed. So I do think she's been experimenting with filler rather than jaw implants. The final procedure that Cindy Kimberly may have had was some sort of hair removal to her hairline to clean up that area and to remove any baby hairs there. Let's talk about the prices. I usually put the costs in Beverly Hills price ranges, but some of these things Cindy had done prior to becoming famous, so I went ahead and made the prices more reflective of regular prices you would pay in the real world. Botox Brow Lift. $1,500 a year. Rhinoplasty, $6,000. Cheek filler, $1,500 a year. Chin implant, $4,000. Buckle fat removal, $3,000. Lip filler, $1,500 a year. Jaw filler, $1,500 a year. Total beauty investment, $19,000. All in all, I believe that Cindy's procedures really added to her modeling career, and it probably also gave her a lot more confidence. It's really hard being a young woman in LA competing against other beautiful young women. Pursuing modeling or acting in Los Angeles is not for the faint of heart. It is such a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and frankly, I'm glad I'm out of it. For those people who are really into it, Looking your best and feeling like you look your best is so crucial to your confidence out there. I know this was a lot shorter than my usual videos, but rest assured I am working on a longer video. Until then, why don't you guys watch my celebrity playlist or my most recent video about five different celebrities. Bye! <laughs>